Hello everybody, today we are checking out the Shattered Dice. This is a very interesting item that I have actually seen a few times before, but I wanted to do a showcase episode on it because it seems very interesting. As you can see, this has a passive effect to it. Item pedestals reroll when you touch them. Rerolled items will attempt to be of a higher quality than the original. You can use it, but it's not going to be very useful to use. And we've also got the No Trinket here, because the items it upgrades them into can be actives, and it'll destroy the dice if that happens. So my theory here is if I have the No Trinket, that won't be able to happen, and we'll just get passives. So I'm pretty interested to see how this goes. I'm pretty interested to see how this goes. This is a, a really, really cool active item that isn't really an active item. But essentially, none of the items we see are actually going to be the items we get. So we pick this up, and we got Polyphemus. Okay. That's a good start. That's a good start. So as you can see there, quality three item got upgraded into a quality four. Oh my, that is uh, quite the ball of flies there. What the hell? Um, yeah, so we're going to see some pretty good items here, hopefully. And yeah, as I said, it's kind of going to be like a little bit of a Curse of the Unknown style run here because we're never really going to know what we're getting um, until we pick it up, which can be fun sometimes. I don't mind that. I don't mind the, the scariness of the unknown. Um, sometimes. But th this is... Th th my question of the day here is, for one, do you take unknown pills? Because some people don't. And for two, do you take unknown items? Some people don't. Those people are, um, cowards. <laughs> no, but I'd be interested to know what you guys... Like, how you guys play the game. And, um, if, if, the, if you have the fear of the unknown. And do you have the fear of the unknown in life as in general? Because... Today, I've just been out and about. I, I, I got a bit drunk yesterday, um, just because, uh, it, basically, I went to go watch the football and they lost. I don't actually give two flying Fs about the football. I, sp most watching sports just, just doesn't really interest me, like, at all. But friends wanted to go see it and I was like, it, it, it's a pub, there's atmosphere, there's drinks, why not? So anyways... Um, so I woke up this morning feeling pretty hungover. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to... Ooh, planetarium. I was like, I'm just going to go for a big old walk. A real big walk. Um, so I did. And I, I, I walked for about four hours today. Um, and I, I... Ooh, oh man. I want that so bad, but we're not, we're not going to get it. We got a, a modded one though. We got a modded one. What does this do? Um, one empty heart container, 5% chance to heal for double the amount of damage taken. Is that all it does? That seems pretty... I don't know, that seems good, but pretty weak. 5% is pretty low. That other item sounded more fun, so... <laughs> sad times to lose that one, but still. Seems like an okay item, nonetheless. Um, seven knives. Knives have continuing effects and loop. Ooh, interesting. Um, oh, God. Calm down, calm down. And, yeah, I just kind of just went into a bunch of places I'd never been before. I, I did not fear the unknown. I just kind of randomly walked towards areas I'd never been and <laughs> see where I end up going. We've got Cootie this time around. I do like Cootie. Pretty useful for charming enemies here and there. Okay. I would like uh, something that's going to give me some, some dirty fire rate increase. That would be rather nice. Thank you, Cootie. Right. Keep going. Um, I'm, I'm really liking the way this run's going so far, though. This, this item's proving itself to be pretty interesting. I think you'd, I think you'd all agree. Yeah, you really gotta have the no trinket to make it a, a more viable item. But yeah, I'm still not I'm still not feeling the best. I've got a bit of a headache. Um so this this might be a little bit more of a somber episode of Isaac than we regularly do. Oh, that is not what I expected at all. I thought it was gonna be like an anti-grav um That was really cool. I thought it was gonna be more like ooh, upgrade that into eye drops, hell yes. I think that I thought that was gonna be more like when you have um Anti-grav, not anti-grav, tiny planet plus mom's knife, and it's going to spawn them from me. Um, well, this only costs a black heart, so I feel like I have to take that. Eh, that's not ideal. Um, seven C, honestly, I'm just going to take all of these, I think. Minus and backstabber. Pretty good stuff. Ooh, backstabber's actually got a little knife in my head there. That's cool. Okay, I did take quite a, quite a lot of um, thingies there. I'm going to go alt path, why not? I did take quite a lot of health reductions there. I think we got some good stuff out of it. It's unfortunate the, um... Oh, wait, no. I was going to say unfortunate contract from below doesn't give us any health because it was uh, not picked up, but that's actually not what happened, so... Ignore me. Contract from below doesn't give you health. 
Backstabber is going to give us these bad boys on occasion um, when we kill an enemy. They're not great, honestly. They're, they, they don't last very long, and um, with the damage that we already have, they're not super necessary. Minos, though. I like Minos. He's going to do some good stuff for us. He's a uh, high speed zooming around the room, helping us out. Good. No pop for me, thank you. But yeah, I will, I will pop them every now and again. I'm not going to pop them all the time. I just wish they'd give you a bit less damage and apply automatically when you walk over them. Rather than you having to pick them up and then use them. Um, I'm going to go for the other item. Just because I'm hoping it's a higher tier than tier 1. We got Dr. Fetus. Very, very nice. Okay. Um, I don't know what the item originally was. But we have Dr. Fetus now. And uh, what the hell happened there? Why do my bombs do that? <laughs> Does anyone know why that happened? Is that a Polyphemus thing? Did I just not know about that? That's uh, That's intriguing. So our bombs are bigger, and the, uh, the they double explode, which is kind of scary, to be honest. Like, in one way, yeah, it's good. But in another way, I'm a little afraid. Yeah, because um, I'm going to end up forgetting that happens and that works that way. and end up hurting myself, aren't I? Ooh. Oh, I can't take that trinket, unfortunately. Very much would like to visit my shop if I can. Um, I'm just going to quickly check, check the secret room first here. Yeah, because the first bomb's bigger and the second one's a little smaller. It's kind of cute. we got a golden pill in here. Golden pills, always a little risky. I'm going to take the pills, though. I'm going to take them. Really? That's so bad. Although, I guess now is the best time to take the golden pill because it's unlikely I'll kill myself. I say that. Immediately almost kill myself with explosive diarrhea. I'm more likely to gain HP. Unfortunately, I did not gain anything. Little bit spooked. Little, little, wee bit, little bit spooked. Especially considering uh, one wrong bomb and I, uh, I have ended my career. Doesn't bird too well. I've got to say, doesn't bird too well. A secret room at least. Unfortunately, no easy way into our shop here. Ooh, a dice is very nice. Actually, is a dice that good? I guess it's good for potentially increasing the quality of an item. To try and get a better item once it re-rolls. But otherwise, it's not super relevant for us. Oh, wait. We can get into our boss trap room now. Potentially could have some HP for us. Um, although the HP will get upgraded into something that isn't HP, won't it? So, hmm. Um, yeah, so I got HP there, but I got Acid Baby out of it instead. Oh, you bastard. I, didn't, I just didn't. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Okay, he at least gave me some HP. That makes me feel better. Okay, we are absolutely demolishing enemies, though, which is quite nice. Yeah, Acid Baby, you're not exactly what I was looking for, I've got to admit. Okay, thank you for the health, but not exactly what I need. Um, I'm not going to mirror room. I think I will go mines, though, because there is a new floor. The um, the boiler floor mod, a, a new floor got added. Um, I can't remember what it's called now, but we'll have, s have to see if we can find it, come across it in an upcoming episode, or maybe even this one. Okay, that guy died very, very quickly there. Good, good. that would have been great. But we did get HP, lovely. Um... It's so risky taking devil deals at this low HP, but they're all quality three. I'm going to take at least one. Oh, amazing. That's quite scary. Okay, no, it only spawns a bomb once it gets a certain distance away from me, at least. I see, okay. Okay, well, we got mum's knife there. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Still a little, little wee bit, little, little bit wee bit scared of death but this is a quite quite the run right now quite the run okay grab some pennies here okay see if we don't die having dr fetus plus mum's knife here is uh is very ooky spooky hey we got the new floor as well that's awesome the grotto 
the grotto. Can we can we live to see five seconds of the grotto? Or are we gonna die a very, very swift death here? Okay, um I don't know if that can if this guy can pay out with a I don't know if this guy can pay out with a soul heart or not. That's treasure room. I'll go straight to the treasure room, I guess. Ooh, it's got like new mushroom sprites and everything. It's very hard to use um, Mum's knife here, effectively. Parasite, we get Mum's... Okay, we lost a lot of range and a lot of damage. Oh my lord! <laughs> okay. The, the loss of range is a little bit scary. But that's a lot of bombs. <laughs> we are so, so, so dead. Hmm. What's going on here? I don't understand this room. I'm just gonna leave. We are so very dead, aren't we? I am very spooked right now. Oh my lord, thank you, soul hearts. You have no idea how much that means to me. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was really thinking that was going to end poorly. But please, game. I could really, really do with a range upgrade very shortly. Oh my god. This is a really cool floor so far. And we get more soul hearts. Beautiful. Okay. We are no longer on the brink of death. So I'm, I'm a little more pleased. A fire rate increase would also be nice for charging this up a bit quicker. Got some fiend folio enemies here too. I look, I like, blah, blah, blah. I really like the music. The music's quite nice on this floor. Um, Wicker Man, Bell Clapper will get because it'll get into quality four. There you go. We get stopwatch, and I guess I'll try and get that if I get the money. So far, I'm really, really liking this combo with the shattered dice plus the nurturing kit. It's uh, proving to be pretty awesome. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. What is? What is this that you're doing? I'll crack that open. Ooh, that's an interesting looking enemy. It's dead, but it was interesting. Whoa, what's going on here? These mushrooms did like a interesting effect there. I see, I see. Oh my lord. They're really cool. Eat my bombs. Ooh, wow, we got Terra, which unfortunately we won't actually get Terra, but we did get Secretion, which... Is Secretion good for us? Yes, it is. Okay, Secretion's great for us because... It, well, no, it's, it's, it's somewhat good and somewhat bad. It's good because it gives us a way to deal damage other than our bombs. It does push our bombs about, though, which is both good and bad, because I think in certain scenarios, we're going to want them pushed away from us, but in other scenarios, it's just going to make things less predictable, which I don't like the idea of. So it's 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 got some ups and it's got some downs. We'll see how it, uh, how it pans out for us. Boom. Get nuked, my good sir. Get nuked. Yeah, I like that. I like I like the being able to push bombs a little further because our low range does make uh, does make the bombs quite unsafe. Okay, so here, what do I do? Okay, it's literally just walk across this this pit that slows you, I guess. What's what's what exactly is going on here? Oh, I see. I keep I keep thinking that's pits. It's not pits. But is that pillar health up? Hell yes. Thank you. Not what I expected, but very, very nice. Some extra bombs there. I feel like we don't really need that many bombs anymore. Okay. The music down here is awesome. I'm really liking it. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it allows us to spread our bombs a little bit, which I think is useful. And also, like, the second explosion is now, like also can move around a little bit too. Puberty. Ooh, new boss. I'm going to just not kill him for a hot minute. Just to see what he does, because I, I will one-shot him. So I'm just going to kind of chill and see what exactly this guy does. Ooh, what's that? What is that thing? Okay, he hit me. 
You're dead. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to kill him straight away because I wanted to see what he did, but cool. Sour Patch. Ooh, there's some damage. Lovely. And Shot Speed, which I think is helpful. Eye of Belial, I will take. Red King. I like Red King. Okay, let's go. I'm really, really happy that we got to see that new floor. This also helps with thumbnail today. <laughs> also helps the thumbnail. We got it for the second floor as well. I don't know if that's guaranteed or if that's just me being lucky there. One second. Okay, let's continue on. Apologies for the pause. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we've actually got a pretty interesting setup now. Oh, I found a secret room. Didn't realize. Ooh, whoa. I, I don't know what that mushroom enemy was, but intriguing. Okay, so we got that, which I definitely don't want. It's quality zero. And we got this, which will turn to quality four. Hey, keep us penny. Unfortunately, not the best of quality four items. Oh, I get this one as well, apparently. Nice. Um, Limbus. I don't know what Limbus does. Limbus, if player dies and has no extra lives, player will be something. I can't, I can't read the rest of that, unfortunately. It's covered up. Well, there you go. Some nice items there. Oh, look at that. Some of these enemies are, from Fiendfolio are really, really fitting for this area. I quite like it. It's cool to see them. I'm glad that they uh, took the effort, took the time to uh, put in some Fiendfolio enemies. It's rather nice. So these guys are like, yeah, I see that. So they're like the fire ones, but, but they do gas rather than fire. That's a really cool way to like interpret the design of that enemy into a mushroom sort of fungal kind of level layout. I think that's a pretty cool idea. I like it. Ooh, there's a boss trap room entrance there that I didn't realize in that secret room. Ah, my first time hitting myself with a bomb. I mean, it was bound to happen at some point. I was just hoping it wouldn't be so soon. Right. Let's quickly go in here. What a wacky setup we've managed to, to, to build with this, uh, with this dice. Consolation prize. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's somewhat problematic, I've got to say. Yeah, it's going to be significantly easier to hit ourselves in small rooms now. We are going to have to be a lot more cautious. Um, <laughs> this is the problem with uh, with blind item taking at the moment. We, we can sometimes get items that may be in, in our best interest... I mean, the good thing is, like, the, the the power level that we have achieved is, um, miraculous. I'm gonna have to just use a regular bomb here, otherwise I'm gonna end up killing myself. Ooh, steam sail turns to charge, baby. Glitter infection turns into cyst. Nice. Oh my god. 123 damage on our first shot. Lovely. Oh <laughs> my god. Wild. Absolutely wild. We gotta just stay stu so far away. And the fact that there's like two thingies of explosions as well, two rounds of explosions, is uh, even worse. Remember, we have Mum's knife if we can use it. <laughs> okay, what we got going on in here? Don't care for them too much. We've still not seen our item room this floor, actually. Goddamn. There's still more to be had. But this is something quite beautiful. Boom. I'm trying to figure out what's the actual range that I need to be at. Okay, you guys can survive bombs when you're upturned. Oh my god. Thank, thank god we have secretion. But even still, we're, we're, we're probably going to kill ourselves here. I would say it's, it's reasonably likely that we kill ourselves on this run. Oh, dude, that's an amazing item. Unfortunately, we don't actually get it. That item would solve a lot of issues for us. It makes all red hearts into half, like, blended hearts. But we get Crystal Shard out of it, which turns tears into piercing pink crystals whenever a tear hits an enemy. Um, spawns three more Crystal Shards. Oh, no. Is that going to be more bombs? How's that going to work with this? I'm not sure how that's going to... I'm hoping it just doesn't work, honestly. Okay, no, it does fire crystals, but they're not explosive. Oh, no, no. Okay. Okay, okay, um... Yeah. Why'd I walk back in here? Okay, okay, okay. So let me just, let me just check this out. Okay, okay, okay. No. No! No, why'd I come back in here? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
Oh my lord. Okay, we're gonna have to remove that item. What's it called again? <laughs> Crystal shard. Okay, remove crystal shard, and we probably should give ourselves two uh, hearts back here. Um, spawn 5.100 point. No, it's not 100, is it? 5.10 point. 4, 5, 6, 7. Is it 3? Yeah, okay. Just give ourselves two. I'm not gonna, not gonna go overboard. I just. I feel like that was a bit bullshit, but yeah, <laughs> that, that item there uh, was causing some recursion issues. Ooh, electric dice. Completely useless for us. Very nice. Yeah, some recursion issues there of the, uh, the bomb spawning, bomb spawning, bomb spawning, bomb spawning, bomb spawning, bombs. Not something that I was hoping to, uh, to witness. I accidentally picked up a red bomb there. My bad. Okay, you are done, my good sir. Interesting play on that boss, I like it. That's going to be Mum's Suppository, which is indeed a good old damage up. Oh, that's a lot of health up. I like that. Right. Let's keep going. Oh, this has gotten, this has gotten messy. This has gotten messy. Oh, my game crashed. My goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Okay, so I'm just gonna say things are very different than they once were. Um, for some reason, I'm guessing it's something to do with just how this item is coded. I'm not getting the same items as I was before. So we're not quite back where we were and we've got some new items we didn't have before. Now, one thing I am going to do is I am going to give myself back Bomber Boy, because I feel like that was an interesting part of this kooky run. So let's just give ourselves Bomber Boy. Just because. But yeah, there's a few items that I now have that I didn't before. Um, basically from Quince onwards. Um, and there's a few items that I now no longer have. But I don't remember what they were. So I can't give myself them back. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So we, we now have this situation, which is... Uh, intriguing. But yeah, for some reason, so normally the way that Isaac works with a game crash, if you've sort of witnessed it before on my channel or seen it yourself, is that the game will crash and it'll, it'll just start you back at the beginning of that floor. But for some reason this time, it started me back at the beginning of like Downpour 2. Oh lord. I don't even know what's going to happen here. Is Himalaki okay, Himalaki doesn't actually do anything. I kind of expected that to be really crazy, but... <laughs> It seems like Hemolector is not doing anything for us at the moment, which is honestly a blessing at the moment. <laughs> There's already so much going on. But yeah, so we've got like Johnny's knives here now, which are different. Um, and like I said, we've lost a few things. I apologize if anything's been made worse as a result of that, but I don't know what caused the crash. And yeah, unfortunately, it's just sort of the way the cookie crumbles with Isaac sometimes. I don't know why, but I've just been having more crashes as of late. Um... I'm not exactly sure what's causing them, but yeah, we'll 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 just stick with uh with this craziness and <laughs> carry on this run and hope that it doesn't happen again. Okay, I'm 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 getting hurt by the fires on occasion, I think, which is not ideal. I also still have like abysmal range right now, which I thought I'd I thought I got an item that ooh another new boss. Bye bye. <laughs> As much as I'd love to see them properly. You go bye-bye. Mum shampoo. Get the mum transformation going. So, we're just going to leave here. I'm going to quickly... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God. I'm going to quickly just exit and continue so it saves where our current progress is. So that we can... Um, like, if it does crash again, it'll know where we are this time. But hopefully we don't get a crash this time. Nope, we did. Wow, what's going on? One second. Okay, I'm now somehow on the Ash Pit 2 upon reloading, so, yeah, not not entirely sure what the, it, if the game is uh, functioning as, as, as it should be. I'm, I'm, I'm having a feeling it's probably something to do with the new floor, having some kookiness. You chill out, you. Ooh, glitter bombs. Oh, unfortunately, I don't actually get the glitter bombs, which is a shame. We do get rubber bullets, though. 
Ooh, we get this as well. Okay. And that becomes Max's head, which is another pretty beefy damage up. Yeah, this is all sorts of wacky now. At least Johnny's knives can kill stuff for us without us firing bombs on occasion. That's kind of nice. And then here, oh, blood explosion. Turns into Seraphim. Oh, that's... That's quite the downgrade, game. That's quite the downgrade. Battle Fantasy's having issues. I'm not sure, even sure which item that would be. I don't, do I have a Battle Fantasy item on me? I don't know. Either way, yeah. The game is the game is clearly having some severe stress put on it because of the crazy build that we have. But we shall we shall prevail. Ow! Didn't know that explosion was that close to me. My bad. Okay. I do like shops where we can buy items because they turn into other items. I got sister. Hey, sister's back. And we get school bag, which is actually pretty good because now we can actually hold another active. If we find one, which we won't because we have no. Oh my god. Ah. We have a lot of these purple hearts, which I'm not particularly happy with. Okay. Stay the hell away. Secret room. I'm just getting those as freebies here. Damn it, I was really hoping we get a soul heart of that. Oh no, we did, we did, we did. Good. Oh wait, dude! We just got hit and took and, and got a bunch of HP from our um, planetarium item. Okay, that's 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 pretty goddamn good. I see how that works now. That's that's nice. Um What we got going on in here? You fire piercing saw blades that deal repeated damage as they pass through enemies. Saw blades will revolve around obstacles. Ooh, damn. I'm not going to go for that now. Because that will ruin the sanctity of this absolutely fucked build. But that that's that's a that's a showcase for another day, I think. That's a showcase for another day. Kapala. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So where's this going to take us now, then? Is it going to crash? <laughs> okay. The game seems to be functioning as it should now, by the looks of it. We got another one of these rooms, did we? Okay. What What? what this time? Tears are fired in a large cluster. Oh, this, this, this could be, uh, this could be something. Oh, wait. It turned into a different item. I forgot about that. So now we've got a bottle rather than Mum's knife, which I'm not sure what the bottle does. This has confused me profusely. Okay, the the bottle broke. the The bottle seems to be um, summoning a lot of fire. Oh god, that trinket would be so messy right now. I want to. I want it, but I need my nerve trinket. I should have smelted it at the start of the run, shouldn't I? Oh well. What's done is done. This is. This has been a wild ride, people. This has been a wild ride. It does seem that the bombs are going further with this. Uh, this this bottle that we have. Oh, I. Uh, the bottle broke, and now I can't shoot. Okay, no, it respawned. It respawned. I see. I, I honestly can't believe he's allowed to survive that. That is unprecedented. Really? I'm just going to chalk at this because I can't be asked. I should have got the golden key first. Whoa, he got nuked. Poor lad. <clears throat> this bomber boy stuff is silly. I love it. Oh, hello. Would you like to give me an item? No, you wouldn't. Horrible. I'm ex really? I'm excited. Did we have to? Did we have to? Right, where's that item room at? <laughs> I do love how insane this is, though. It's just the wackiest. Walk into a room and set off a giga nuke <laughs> on every enemy. That's beautiful. Boom. And <laughs> they just blow up like every rock. Accidentally blow up all the skulls as well, apparently. 
Oh man. This this dice item has uh, has has yielded some interesting rewards, I'd say. Some interesting results indeed. I'm hoping we get another bomb item in the mix to see how crazy it can truly get. Thank god the second explosion blows up before my iframes run out. But also, thank God for this item that keeps randomly healing me when I get hit. I think the description was slightly incorrect with the EID. I swear, the way it works is that it'll, um... Ow. Yeah, it, the the longer you go without... Like, sorry, the, the more hits that you take um, without getting healed increases the chance for the next hit to heal you. So from that, we get the Crystal Shard is back. I'm sorry, Crystal Shard. Wait, we can just do this, can't we? Uh, wait, no. Remove Crystal Shard. Crystal Shard was back again to haunt us. Damn. Okay. Let's keep going. Sorry, Crystal Shard. It can't be done. You are too powerful for this build. Too, too strong. God damn it. Really? Where's our item room? Boom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, what extra bomb upgrade we could get that would make this, like, truly insane on top of the insanity that we already have. I'm sure there's one. Ow. Lost Fly turns into Furton. I, I am curious how Furton would work with this. Okay, it didn't seem to do a hell of a lot, but it did give us a fire rate increase. I respect that. Okay. Boss time. I keep forgetting we've got Kapala as well. It also seems to give us a pretty big damage boost too. Oh god, we, we've got a freeze. Dude, the game is really struggling right now. It's having a hard time with this setup. This build's so strong it broke the game. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's turn off my debug mode as well. <laughs> Make sure I don't insta-kill the boss. Right. You okay, mum? You okay? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This is wild. How on earth are we in time for boss rush? The timer says 13 minutes. Literally, how? Do we have any... If we have a quality 3 and or above in here, I'll take it. Otherwise, I'm not going to bother. I could glass D6 and see if we get one, actually. Let's glass D6 see if we get one. That's a quality 3. Okay, I'll take, I'll take that. Oh, we got C section. Okay. I don't even know what to think about this anymore. Okay, so I, I'm I'm genuinely very confused right now. What what on earth is happening? I I I don't I don't know. So Photon is firing tiny tiny invisible C-section babies that all have knives that on impact create bombs that explode into more bombs. I think that's what's happening. I think I think I've got my my timeline right here. <laughs> this is this is just unbelievable. And we just keep hitting ourselves. But this our, our active uh, sorry, our planetarium item should keep us alive. But this is wilder than I was even contemplating this ever getting. I did not think we'd see C-section in the mix here. Ow. I'm getting hit by stuff I just I can't even see. There's no way I can explain what's happening to me. Yeah, dude, just just you know that you're dead, just perish. I mean this is somewhat in a way safer. <laughs> <laughs> but that might just be because of the size of the room. I feel like it's not going to be much safer for long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the little baby. I was wondering where he was. The fact that the bombs do this double explosion thing as well is uh, making this even wilder in <laughs> a lot of cases. We've got 25 damage on this as well. Ow. There's just so many bombs. 
I'm getting hit by just stuff I, like I said, I just can't even see. I'm getting hit a lot right now. Hopefully my, my thing will trigger soon and heal me. I'm hoping. My planetarium item. We've got to be nearly done here, right? I love the way that the invisible C-section babies have a massive knife. <laughs> it seems like sitting near the wall is maybe not in my best interest. Kapala just absolutely didn't annihilated that boss there. Oh no. Bombs, get away from me. Ah! <laughs> this isn't fair. This isn't fair. It's like one of the wackiest builds I've had in a while. We get Ram's Head for doing that. Are we done? The explosions? We chill? Ooh, White Habanera. Nice. White Habanera. Um, chance to fire a Holy Flame alongside Fired Tear. The Holy Flame is going to give us a damage boost, much like standing next to a Holy Poop. It's very nice. So, we're going to have to see how, how exactly this all functions in a regular room. I think it's not going to be in our, in our favor at all. This is going to be pretty bad. I do not want to be firing more tears. Trinket, go away from me. Okay, it's doing a good job so far. So it seems that the bombs are just, like, duplicating sometimes. I'm not entirely sure what's causing that. Like, look at that. What, what just happened there? What what the hell just happened? Why did, like, a bunch of bombs just spawn out of nowhere? Is, this, is, is the game just pranking me now? <laughs> what the fuck? What's happening? The hell is happening? <laughs> it's just like the wall just like shits out a bunch of bombs. How did you survive there, my guy? Yeah, basically after the first explosion, the, the back wall just shits out a ton of bombs. It's very confusing. Oh, bollocks. Just, I, I don't even know what to call this. There's no way we're surviving any more than in a couple of minutes after this point. Basically, it's it's all about getting out of the room before that happens. Ow. Okay, that's some health at least. <laughs> that's some health at least. Oh boy. This is, uh, wild. Okay, I got some healing again there. Just, just, just show me to the exit. Please. As soon as you can. Luckily, a lot of rooms I'm able to get away with just, like, the one and done strat. But I'm just so confused about the C-section mix causing all the wall shots. It's just, I don't know what's happening. I'm able to get out of it in most of the scenarios, but I don't think that's always going to be the case. Yeah, good. I like it when we do a room like that. What, what even hit me there? Please, a little bit. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Okay, made it through. I can't even just let Johnny's knives handle it anymore, either. Oh, there's a secret room there. I wonder how we found that. Maybe by exploding the wall into oblivion? Look at that. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> and all those bombs double explode as well. It's just wild. It's just wild. We found the boss. Go, 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 go. Let me out. I don't care about the secret room. Just let me go. Ah, I was, at the, I was at the wrong side of the room, apparently. Nope. All the walls are spawning bombs right now. Sinner's heart would be absolutely lovely, but I'm going to have to go this way in the hopes of HP. I didn't get any. I'm still going to take this and see what happens. We got Hellfire. Okay. Um, 
I am going to go up. Probably not making it to Blue Baby, I think, at this rate. I would say that's a uh, chance of that a low. Come on, Planetarium item. Heal me. Apparently, I never even finished that room, surprisingly. You do you, game. The bombs make it so far. I hate it. Repentance Plus is having issues now. God damn. We are breaking all the mods today. I've literally just got to sit back and, and wait and hope. The, 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 the chaos doesn't reach me. Or that I can leave before it and completely envelops the room. Some good old brimstone lasers in there as well, just to counterbalance everything else. Oh my god. No! Why? Why? <laughs> oh man. This is pretty impossible. Yep, there you go. We're dead. Well, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that one nonetheless. That was absolutely chaotic. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.